Welcome to our second video on calculus for the Praxis 2. And again, this is just a, a fun general calculus problem, but it's from the Praxis 2. So this might help you study for that test. What this, I'm not going to type this full problem out, but I'll read it and then write down key components of it. A quality control engineer has determined that a machine can produce Q of D units per day units per day and again this is a key component because we're defining what this function is and the rate right it's a unit per day um, and that's after D days of operation after D days of operation okay um, and oh and they say Q of D equals and they give us the function 5 times 6d plus 14 over d plus 7 and it says assuming that this this machine continues to work efficiently approximately how many components is the machine able to produce per day after being in operation for a long extended period of time a long extended period of time and that when I when I see long extended period of time I feel like that's their way of saying as this approaches infinity so we can't really deal with infinity um, just by plugging in right we've got to think of it as in terms of a limit so as X approaches in infinity for this function, 5 times 6d plus 14 over d plus 7, right, what do we get? Um, and I guess I should make this as d approaches, as d approaches infinity. Okay, well, um, one thing you want to do when you're dealing with in infinity is, in any way you can, maybe try to find fractions where the, where the variable is the denominator. Because, for example, if, if I have... I guess a pretty a pretty standard tool at, with limits is at the, at the limit of x as it approaches infinity of 1 over x equals 0. And the idea is that x gets infinitely large, this fraction becomes infinitely small. So if, if we can get 1s over x's or 1s over d's, then we, can, then we can change this equation into something manageable and get rid of the variables. Okay, <laughs> so if we can, if we can get those fractions and just have a bunch of constants in here we can figure out what this equals so to do that I'm going to divide by D right and what's going to happen when I do that is I'm at the limit of D as D approaches infinity and in the denominator I'm just going to get D over D plus 7 over D in the numerator first I'm going to distribute the 5 so I get 30 D plus 70 and then we're multiplying everything by 1 over d and now I have this so I can rewrite this now so now the limit as d in approaches infinity well what's going to happen here these are just going to cancel out right and we get 1 here and then this is going to be 30 so we get 30 plus 70 d over 1 plus 7 over d and so now, if I was to plug infinity into this equation, what would happen to 70 over d? Well, d is becoming infinitely large, so 70 over d is becoming infinitely small. And 7 over d, the same thing. What's going to happen to 7 over d? Well, as d becomes really, 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 really big, 7 over d becomes nothing. And essentially, this will just be equal to the limit uh, as d approaches infinity of 30 over 1 right or 30 units so over time this machine will be able to produce um, per day um, 30 units okay hope that helped